we want them to decide. Matiangi, Moshero, Wamalwa, and the other cabinet secretaries. You must decide whether you are going to serve the Kenyan people and prepare our next general elections together with IEBC in a non-partisan manner, or you are going to be agents and mobilizers of ODM and the opposition. <laughs> the election, the electoral process in Kenya is sacrosanct. It should be above board. It should be prepared in a way that is fair and in a way that is acceptable to the eyes of the Kenyan people. There is no way the ICT minister, who we believe will be giving technical advice and the technical help to IEBC, should be going out there declaring their support to one of our competitors. It is also unacceptable for the person in charge of the entire police force in Kenya, the Minister for the Interior, and his defense counterpart to purport and to be seen as partisan at this critical time. Kama mumeshidu wa nakazi ya kulida wa Kenya wote na kufanya general election in a fair manner, in a non-partisan manner, mutoke, muvae, baji ya ODM, muede mkue agents wao. But we cannot allow the people who are ministers in such critical ministries at such a time like this to be partisan. Na tunawabia sisi tunajua mahasura wote wanapiga kura kikapu moja. Na tunajua William Ruto wanashida. Muwate hiyo maneno yenu ya kukuonye sana kama muko partisan. Kenya imetoka bali sana. We are prepared in the next general elections as UDA. We want them to be above board. And we also demand that this time round, IEBC should be the one to be giving directions to our police officers who will be seconded to IEBC. They should be the people in charge of the ICT and the entire preparation of the general election. Na diyo tunasema ya kwamba, hapa tumekuja kutoka hile maneno ya keno. Juzi wanapanga vijana kupiga mawe kure busia. We want to tell Matiangi, before you even go to busia, tell the Kenyan people who are these characters who planned violence in Keno last year. If you haven't arrested them, wata kucheza sarakasi. Na hayo mengi. Nataka kumuuliza wafula chebukati. Nataka kumuuliza wafula chebukati. IBC is independent. You have no business calling Fred Matiangi and Muchero to a meeting when it is in public domain that they have already taken sides, they are not independent to plan elections with them. So we want to ask Wafula Chebukati to do a letter to President Uhuru Kenyatta and outline clearly the mandate of the IBC as an independent institution and why the IBC cannot work with ministers who have clearly taken sides and become campaigners and youth wingers of Raila Odinga. And he must tell the president to move those people from those dockets if he must keep them in the cabinet for the purposes of the election. <laughs> and you have seen, you have seen the way Matiang has misused the police force. He mamba ya keno vijana wetu wawili waliwao. Kuna mtu wameshiku mbaka waleo? Pale na rumoro, watu walionekana wali kwa video, wamepiga magari ya kuna mtu wameshikwa. Because huyu matiangi is partisan. Alikuwa mendaganyo atatakuwa raisu wa Kenya. Na haka amini. Ilikuwa ni wongo. Sasa, amekwama. Sasa, atataka atikusukuma hii mtu ya kitendawili, atiakuwe raisi. And then, anasimamia police, anawekwa kwa kamati ya kupanga uchaguzi. Hiyo uchaguzi naweza kuwa mzuri. Chebukati must tell the president that the people of Kenya cannot be comfortable and they cannot accept an election that is being managed by people who are clearly partisan. And if the president, for whatever reason, requires these two ministers to be in his government, then he can move them to other dockets that have nothing to do with the election. But the good thing the president should do is allow these two ministers to go and become full-time campaigners for Raila Odinga. Kama wenyewe wameogopa kupigani. CS Matiangi and uh, CS Mosheru. Those two public servants have made a public declaration 
about the candidate they are going to support in 2022-2022. And therefore, they do not have the competence to superintend elections this year because they are partisan. We want to tell the two ministers, step aside, allow nonpartisan independent body to conduct elections. Because once that happens, the Kenyans are going to have faith in the electoral system. The His Excellency, as it afute legacy mbali, let His Excellency make his legacy peaceful transition of one presidency to another. Peaceful transition. He must ensure, as our president, that the elections are free, fair, and transparent, and peaceful. So far, we have a bad record because in Keno, Urikuwa Nashida, in Busia, the other day, there was a small problem. In Narumoro, there was a problem. All these issues, the president must work very hard to deliver to the country free and fair elections because we have an institution of governance. Management of elections, yes, is under IEBC. But the support services are people like our National Police Service. And if they are misused in the name of a non-existent deep state, because in my view, the deep state is the people of Kenya. Na mumeonyesha bwana, hapa kiamba, uko juja, uko rulie, kira pahali. So His Excellency, the President, should deliver for us a free, fair elections, transparent, free from violence. If our Excellency does that, I think he will place himself in the right uh, part of history of this republic. Na nina kubariana na ware wa mesema mushero wakati wake umeisha uyu matiangi wakati imeisha na nasikia anatafuta viti huko it should never happen your excellency that people who are serving the public take sides we cannot trust them we don't believe in them because they have already branded themselves as ODM we are the Kenyan public, we are paying them, and they must stop that. The international community has a role to ensure that governance in this country takes a first precedence because we cannot allow the country to go the 2007. We can't allow another, the swearing in. We don't want another mock swearing in. Now, Najua, Your Excellencies, I and they talk about governance at the rule of law. Raira hajui governance ni nini. Na hajakubari kushidwa ata siku moja. Can he prepare to lose this particular time and to accept? We want them. Employment is a crisis in Kenya. There is no way we as leaders can pretend that tuende tupatilishe katiba, tujiongeze mamlaka, tujui tuongeze positions ya sisi kugawana, wakati hawa wa, watoto wetu wanapotea. And many people are stepping forward because for the first time,